What is up, Revolve Church, man? Uh, you didn't want to read the email, so I'm going to give it to you in a video format. Uh, this actually includes something that's not written in the email. I'm jacked up about this Sunday, man. I, I missed being at church last Sunday, but I'm fired up about this Sunday. I'm actually going back into the book of Acts, chapter 26. I sort of want to finish what I started a couple of weeks ago as I finished the It Is Written series. This is not part of the It Is Written series. It is a standalone message from Acts chapter 26. I'm going to be unpacking uh, that story uh, of Paul and King Agrippa and that, that conversation and how it re relates to you and me. It's going to be phenomenal. But there's three amazing things happening this Sunday. The first one is Live Next Steps. If you don't even know what Next Steps is, this is where you can hear uh, mine and Beth's story. You can hear our story, kind of how we have gotten to where we are today. You can hear the history of Revolve Church. I'll be delivering that. Uh, and then you can take a next step to connect with us further, primarily by joining our dream team where we serve on Sunday mornings. And so if you want to hear the story about me and Beth and you want to hear the history of Revolve Church, it takes about 20 minutes. Uh, I'll be speaking that live right after the 930 service. So if you want to come to Next Steps, it's very simple. Email me, jeff at revivechurch.com. Let me know that you're coming and uh and just show up at the first service. Right afterwards, we have a small room we're going to go into. I'm going to uh, share our story and the history and help you take next steps. It's going to be a great day if you want to do that. The second thing that's crazy, crazy exciting, we have not talked a lot about this in the big church setting, but we're inviting people that want to be trained to tell their story and how Jesus has changed their life. It's called evangelism, where we go out and we tell and share our story and our faith with others. And, and maybe you don't know how to do that. And I want to train you this Sunday after the 11 o'clock service. Uh, once we take everything down, we'll probably get started around 12.30, 12.45. I'm going to provide pizza, lunch. Uh, and then I have some professionals coming in to train us on evangelizing, on sharing our story. All right? That's what we're going to do this Sunday. If you want to come to that, you can go to the Facebook page or you can just show up at this point in the game. Just show up. Uh, we'll make space for you. And then the third thing I'm crazy excited about, a few weeks ago, uh, Beth uh, had, had finished, she's in her second semester of American Sign Language and she had an exam and she had to do a sign language in front of the entire class. And I said, the best way to prepare for that would be to do it on a Sunday morning in front of everybody. And she didn't want to do that. She didn't agree. Well, I took a picture of her signing one night and I said, if I get 200 likes on this, will you do it? And she agreed. Well, I got 300 and... 43 likes, I think, is where we ended at. So she lost a bet, but that's your win. So I want you to do me a favor. Plan on being at 9, 30, 11 o'clock. I want you to invite somebody. Maybe you know somebody that's deaf that knows sign language. Invite them, and let's make a difference together this Sunday. Let's join together and worship, all right? You got next steps as an option. You got evangelism training afterwards, or you can just bring a friend, or you can do all three and come watch Beth uh, perform the You Say song by Lauren Daigle. It's one of the most popular hit songs right now in Christian music circles, and she's going to perform it in American Sign Language. Uh, going to be awesome, awesome, awesome Sunday. Uh, it's, can't wait to see you, period. Can't wait to see you. Make plans. Be there with us. Grab a couple friends. Uh, we'll see you this Sunday morning, uh, 9.30 or 11 o'clock. God bless you. Have a great weekend. See you Sunday.